answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. That was the update. And now we're going to be moving on. We have a lot of Instagram updates for you guys because we, we said we wasn't going to just go into everything, go into the articles. We're going to show you more videos today. But we have a, do have a lot of Instagram. Uh, there was a lot going on. So uh, you know I'm from Dirty Jersey. And I'm going to call it Dirty Dirty Jersey. Things get a little raw where I'm from, especially in areas such as this. Now, I'm surprised because this is in Sayreville. And Sayreville is not bout it, bout it like Newark. But the New Jersey Councilwoman, Eunice Deform, found unalive with multiple unshots in her car. And they also said, from what I was researching, that she did have someone else in the car with her as well that passed. So we're going to listen to this together, guys. Eunice Duomfor, as she was sitting in her car last night. Yeah, Police believe she was the target, but they are not revealing what may have been the motive. Duomfor was a single mother who had just gotten married at the end of last year, and she was serving her first term on the Sayreville Borough Council. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson is live in Sayreville this afternoon with the very latest on the investigation. Anthony. Yeah, you talk about the search. Investigators have been out here this afternoon using search dogs going at an area between two buildings where they believe the suspect ran after the shooting. They are looking for the gun at this point in time. Also checking for any surveillance video to see who was talking to the victim before this tragic shooting occurred. Let's take a look at public safety. Councilman June 4th, please. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Alex. The Councilwoman has been involved in local matters since serving on the Human Rights Committee before being elected to office last year. I'd like to take out this time to appreciate our police officers. The 30-year-old Republican Councilwoman was also very active in her church. Neighbors of Eunice Jumfor tell us she had one child and was a warm and pleasant neighbor. She's really kind-hearted. I can't even believe this happened to her. I was so shocked when I found that it was her. And it broke my heart because she's really kind. Several of the residents heard the gunfire around 722 last night. <laughs> they say it was a series so of crazy. shots. I heard the bang, bang, bang in, in succession twice. I mean, I can't tell you how many it was, but I heard boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, oh, shoot, that is a gunfire. She likes you the councilwoman's crazy. Nissan Murano was apparently in drive after the shooting because it rolled about 100 feet and crashed into two parked cars. The councilwoman was found slumped over after being shot multiple oh times. Like five or seven gunshots. That's basically it. I think I was ready to peek out the window and I didn't. Then I just walked away. Police have been here investigating the scene and looking for clues. Some residents say following the gunfire, they saw a person wearing a hooded sweatshirt run between two buildings and jump a fence to escape, which leads many to believe that June 4 was targeted. The governor was stunned by this incident. It's just a shocking, shocking development. Uh, so please keep her memory and her family and the community in Sayreville uh, in your prayers. All right. All right, we're going to start by reading some of these comments. And it's so funny. When I did the little chuckle, it wasn't because of the actual story. It was because of what I just read in the comments. Because I thought the same. I thought something. I always think out of pocket. I think out of pocket. It's uncensored. So it said, why did I immediately suspect the governor know something? Could just be some online intuition. And it's so crazy because before I read this, I was like, yo, who would want her on a live, but somebody in, you know, allegedly, you know, maybe in that caliber of work because who does she have, could make, could, who could she make enemies with? The next one, the next question was, where is the man she was married, who she just married? Where is he? And also, allegedly, it was they said it was someone else in the car when I read another story. So it's a little weird. 
this is not typical. You know, I'm not going to say in Jersey, they not bout it, bout it. And then we don't have people who are literally victims that not supposed to be. I, I promise you, it has gotten out of hand, especially in Newark. But in Sayreville, you saw all the people who was coming on the screen. That was only uh, you know who. So she may have said something to the wrong person. Allegedly. I'm just going to say this. Allegedly. How can I say this in the best words that I'll get? You know, because we are uncensored. Um, Jersey, do y'all remember the other governor? The big fat one? I ain't going to say his name because I couldn't stand him. And, you know, when all of that stuff was going on, he was on the beach and told everybody else to go in the house. And, yeah, basically, he was moving like a mobster, allegedly, if you watch the old governor. Um, there's a few businesses that I think in large organizations, for me living in Jersey, that they run to the nature of a alleged mafia, allegedly. Allegedly. Now, I'm just talking from my own experience and some things that I have heard people talk about, because you got to understand Jersey is known for the mafia. Back in the day. And we have to say, where did they go? Where did they go? The people should ask these questions, just like you wanted to ask back in the day. Where did all the German scientists go? Well, I, we're just going to ask some of them weird questions here. You may not want to follow up with that, but we're just going to uh, have you think outside of the box. Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door no credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step by step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team.